and light. You know? So, but the Lord said to Anna, he said, go, this man is my chosen instrument, you know, to proclaim my name to the Gentile and their king and to the people of Israel. You see, God took a look at his life, you know, and God saw something in this man. You know, so God said, I need you to go over there and minister to this man. This man need to know everything about Jesus, you know, because I had chose him to be an instrument, you know, to proclaim the name to the Gentile, you know, to the king and to the people of Israel. See, God want all of them to, to know about Jesus. He want all of them to know about Jesus, you know, so I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Now, not only that God giving him a purpose, but God let him know what come, what's going to be attached to that purpose. You know, I'm letting you know, you're not just uh, pieces and cream. You know, you're going to have to suffer because of my name. Are you willing to suffer? You know, now God ain't asking him, because when you got a purpose, you just got to do it. It ain't no accident, but God let him know what, what's going to be attached to that purpose. You know, you're going to be suffer for my name. You know, so faith in Jesus had bring great blessing, you know, but often great suffering too. You know, so that's why Paul always talk about hardship. You know, remember I put out a lot of packages about Paul. So that's why he 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 always um putting out hardship, packages about hardship. Because that's what they taught him about Jesus. Talking about Jesus. And you know, Jesus went through the hard time. And that's what Paul know about. Paul know about the hardship, what he was taught on. You know, so uh he always was talking about the hardship because that's what he was taught of, you know. But God promised to be with him through the suffering and hardship, not to spare us from it, but be, be there for them. You know, so see, God not going to take the hardship away from us, but he'll be there with us through the hardship, you know. So, uh, so then Annas, you know, he went to the house. You know, he went to the house and he entered, you know, placing his hand on Saul, you know, and he said, brother, Saul, you know, the Lord Jesus, you know, who appeared to you on the road, you know, as you were coming here, you know, has sent me so that you will see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, so now God got a purpose on this life and see God already know what he was doing. So he got blood on his hand, you know. So God, God telling so um, so Anna's telling him, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm put, I'm giving you your sight back. I'm giving you a sight back. You also gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit, you know. Because see, he got to preach that word of Jesus, you know, and he got blood on his hand. What he was doing. So he's going to be filled with the Holy Spirit, you know. So now Saul realized that God had have a plan, you know, for his life, you know. So now Saul can see and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. So now this is the same man that wanted to prosecute all who talk about Jesus, you know. And God about to use this man to spread his word about Jesus. You see how God can turn things around? You see how God can turn things around? You know, this man was heading on to this city to do evilness, you know, to prosecute on God believers, you know, whoever talk about Jesus. But now he about to be trained. He about to be taught everything about Jesus, you know, all about the hardship that Jesus went through. You know, now he about to go around and talk about the good news of Jesus. You know, so immediately, you know, something like scales had fell from Saul's eyes. You remember, Annas put his hands over his eyes, you know, and he could see again. He got up and he was baptized. Now, he's going to be filled with the Holy Spirit and he's going to be baptized. So he's going to be clean to preach that word. You know, the although acts had may not, you know, mention a, a, a special... Um, feeling of, of the Holy Spirit. 
for Saul, but his changed life accomplishments had been a strong witness to the Holy Spirit present and powerful in him. You know, so eventually the Holy Spirit had filled Saul. When he received his sight, he was baptized, you know, and Annas had shown example, shown that loving and accepting to other belief. Because remember, he, he really didn't want to do it, you know, but he obeyed God, you know, and he set an example of showing loving and accepting into others' believers, no matter what they did, you know. He expressed his feeling of what he did. But now he's showing the love and kindness to him, you know. Uh, and he showed an example, you know, how no matter what somebody did, you know, you, you if God give you uh give you uh a work to do to go to go show um to help someone, you know, you have to show that love and kindness and help. You know, since so after talking so uh to someone, you know, and he he have he had not ate, he have not drank anything, you know. So um so he had to eat, and he had to he had to drink so to regain his strength, you know, to to gain his strength. Now Saul had his life completely turned around, you know, for days before he was on his way to to this city to arrest the Jews, you know, that Jesus follows. You know, and you know that's God people. So that's why God had to touch him. You know, you're not you're not gonna harm my people. Now that's my chosen people. Now Father returned to him to Jerusalem to uh you know for a trial for their blasphemy. You know, so now he himself is a Jesus follower. Him himself is a Jesus follower. When he didn't want nobody else to follow Jesus, he didn't want nobody to talk about Jesus. Now he about to be the follower of Jesus. And you see how God turned that around? God turned that around. You know, and see, God didn't want to hear nothing that Anderson was saying. You, you know, yes, I heard about this man Saul. Did you hear about what he doing to your people? Yes, God, God heard and God can see what he doing to his people. But God saw something in him. That he can clean this man to preach the word of Jesus. And that's what he did. He said, after meeting with Christ on the road, you know, in a temporary going blind, you know, he fasted and he prayed, you know, for three days. So Annas had arrived and baptized Saul and the Holy Spirit came and fell him and he can see again. And now Paul is hungry, you know, to preach that word and love to talk about the good news of Jesus. You see how God turned that around. Now he hungry to preach that word of Jesus. You know, when he first was damaging Jesus' name crucifying Jesus name so now he is hungry to preach that word of Jesus preach the good news of Jesus and he gonna be oh he gonna be a good prophet you know a good prophet that gonna preach that word all over the city and you see how God turned that around God you know God didn't want to hear nothing when he was talking about you you heard what he doing he prosecuting your people he doing this and he doing that God said look I need you to go over there and minister to that man God wasn't trying to hear what he was saying because God saw something in this man that he could turn this man life around you know that's that's God people you know yes God yes God heard him yes God see him you know, but God made a plan, a purpose for his life. You know, a purpose for his life to turn him around. You know, what was meant for evil, God can always turn things around for your good. And that's what he did just now. You know, he turned this man around for good. You know, God about to use this man to speak the good news of Jesus when he wanted to prosecute people from talking about Jesus. You know, God turned that around for this man. You know, this man was not evil no more. You know, but he was filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, with the Holy Spirit. This man got baptized and everything else. You know, ready to preach the good news about Jesus. You know, no more of killing believers because he now a believer himself. You know, 
So God saw something in this man that kept on one wants to try to prosecute his believers, his chosen people, the Israelites. And you know, God wasn't going to let that happen. You know, so God saw something in him that I can use this man that doing evil. It's turned the evilness into good. You know, clean this man um, for, for the Holy, put the Holy Spirit over him, baptize him. You know, have um have Annas, you know, the priest and teach him everything he needs to know about Jesus. You know, so they taught him a lot about the hardship. You know, that's why I put a lot of packages out where Paul preached about the hardship. You know, we see this what he was taught about. We see how he met Jesus. You know, when we thought he was an original um disciple, but he, he become to be a disciple, you know, after Jesus' death. And I'm gonna, the next package I'm going to put it out that Jesus is going to send him over there to his disciples. They're going to start teaching him more stuff you know, about the hardship. You know, now Annas taught him about Jesus. The disciple going to teach him about the hardship of what Jesus had went through before he died. You know, so that's why Paul going to know so much about the hardship. He going to know so much because I would wonder myself, you know, someone, someone told me, read um, Acts, read Romans. You know, it's all about Paul, how he started out, you know, because I'm always putting stuff about Paul, but didn't know how he connected with Jesus after that. So now we see how he connected with Jesus after that. He was going to the city to do evilness to get all God um people who was a believer of Jesus Christ. And God had Jesus to stop him on the road. Like, oh no, you're not going, you're not going there to home, God um chosen people. You know, shine that light. Remember the light came from heaven. It didn't come from Jesus, it came down from heaven. That was God was stopping him. Stopping him from going to do what he, he was about to go do. And God turned his life around. Give him a purpose on his life. You know. Uh, and see how God worked. You know. And what, what meant for evil. God turned it around for good. You know. So that's all the word I have for you today. Y'all have a blessed and safe day. And I'll see y'all on the next video.